So we've been learning about fossils and I wanted to create this video so that you could see them a little better. On this slide, we do have the different types of fossils that we learned about yesterday. And this has the definitions of what the fossils are. So if you need to copy those definitions, maybe you were making note cards, maybe you were making drawings for your notes, um, or you just want to take a moment to look, you can pause the video now, or you can go ahead and continue to see pictures of the different types of fossils. We have the mold fossil. These are some pictures showing those molds. You can see that this one was a shell, and a trilobite, a fish, and a different kind of shell. Then we have the trace fossil, which shows traces of where animals have been. We see their footprints, maybe eggs, more footprints, and mm, not really sure what that is, but uh, I'm thinking it's a remains of an animal. We have the true form, which is the entire body of the um, plant or animal. And just a reminder that we were talking yesterday about how the bones are so hard, um, being made of all the calcium and minerals, that they have a hard time decomposing. And that's why we're still able to find some even 20, 30,000 years later. The tissues are usually what will decompose first, but um, we can still see some remains even of leaves. We have the preserved fossils, which would be something that maybe was encased in sap, which turns into amber over years and years and years, or perhaps an ice, uh, preserved in ice, such as this looks like maybe a cave bear. And this one, it's been preserved in the sap as well. Sometimes we'll have a cast fossil where it has been, re the shell has broken down and been replaced by minerals that have seeped into where the shell had been and it still keeps that shape. So that's a little bit more about fossils and I hope you enjoyed learning more.